Hello and welcome to our Year 10s. You may not know me yet, but I am Mr Stonehall, your new Head of School. And we are really excited to welcome you back on the 15th of June, next Monday. Can I just introduce a short PowerPoint from Mrs Appley that will run you through the health and safety precautions that we'll need to stick to, to ensure that we're all safe on your return. I look forward to seeing you next week. Hello Year 10 and welcome back to school. We have genuinely missed all of you since lockdown began in March and now look forward to meeting you again for some face-to-face -face teaching this term. In order to keep the school running safely for everyone, it is important you read and understand the following guidance. This guidance is based on government health and safety regulations and I hope that you will see we have gone above and beyond to make your safety our priority. You may be aware that only 25% of your year group can be in school on any one day. On arrival at school, you will go to one of the four groups or bubbles called A, B, C or D, as shown on the map later. If you walk to school, you should follow the rules for social distancing of two metres at all times. You need to arrive at your designated queue at 8.55. If you cycle to school, you will see that the bicycle shed has been taped off as shown in the photograph. Once you have placed your bicycle and helmet in the stand, go directly to the queue. If you are arriving by car, please ask your parents to use the turning circle and drop you off at the end of the metal railings. On arrival, you will need to go directly to your queue. Again, make sure that you keep a two metre social distance at all times. This photograph shows the location of the four groups or bubbles of students. It is important that you arrive at school knowing which group you are in. On arrival there will be signs and staff to direct you to your queue area. The next four slides show exactly where each bubble or group should queue. QA you can see yellow markers on the floor indicating where to stand. If you are in Group A, you will have all of your lessons in the hall. Before entering the building, you will have your temperature checked. And just to remind you that you should not be attending school if you have any symptoms of COVID-19. This is a queue for Group B. You will queue to the left of the door, which leads into the crescent by the drama and music rooms. You will be taken through the corridor to room 10 for your lesson. This is a queue for group C. Please notice the white signs indicating the start of the queue. You will queue to the left of the door which leads into the crescent by room 1. All of your lessons will take place in Miss Brinkworth's history room which is room 2. This is a queue for group D. You will queue alongside the wall as shown in the photograph. Your lessons will take place in room 8. You will enter the room via the outside door opposite the turning circle. On entering the classroom, you will be asked to use a hand sanitizer before going to your desk. All desks are numbered and you will always work at the allocated desk. In the photograph, you will see a tray on each table. This will contain a green exercise book for you to complete work in and to take home. You will need to bring this book back each week. The tray will also contain paper, whiteboards and whiteboard pens. Staff may place worksheets in the tray for you to complete and take home. You should bring a school bag containing your own stationary equipment needed for the lesson. This includes calculators. You cannot share equipment in school. You should remain in your seat at all times. Each group has its own toilet area. Teachers will ensure that only one student uses the toilet at any one time. And when you go to the toilet, you must follow all health and safety guidance indicated on the signs displayed in the toilets. You should request to use a toilet before or after break time. Please note that for deep cleaning purposes, only one toilet cubicle will be open. Break time will take place after lesson two. Your teacher will take you to your designated area. During break time, the classrooms and toilets will be cleaned. Please bring a snack and a bottle of water with you. 
Water bottles should be filled at home. Our water machines have been switched off for safety reasons. At the end of break, you will line up in designated areas on the schoolyard and your teacher for lesson three will take you back to your lesson. Although our classrooms may look very different, our school code of conduct will not change. We expect the normal high standards of behaviour and remind you that all mobile phones should be switched off in the bottom of your bag. May I also remind you that chewing gum is not allowed. Discarded gum poses a significant hygiene risk. The school day will finish at 1.15. Please make sure that you maintain social distancing as you make your way home after what will be an excellent day of learning. I hope that you can see we have taken every precaution possible to keep you and our staff safe. If you have any concerns during the course of the day, do not hesitate to speak to your teacher and we will endeavour to resolve any concerns. We welcome your feedback and we'll be sending out a short survey at the end of the first week. Thank you very much for watching this guidance and helping us in our first steps back to school. Please pass on our best wishes to your families and thank you for your patience and support. Thank you.